I remember we talked about, uh, I, my understanding was when we left, when I left that meeting that day was that I was going to come back and that I was going to have a bit of a chip on my shoulder towards Sean and I was going to start ragging on him for not being a good role model and then, uh, you know, because I remember watching him on TV and he sometimes he'd pull his pants down and show his pubes and all that. You know, being the the, the so-called hero babyface of the company, that's not a good way to, to present yourself. I just remember sort of making note in my head, and the more I watched Sean doing stuff like that, where he'd pull his pants down and get the kids dancing and all that in the ring, I remember going, it'd be easy for me as a, as a babyface to take exception to what Sean doing. But I thought, you know, really what it was is a good chance for me to make a storyline here with Sean where, you know, I've lost the title to him at WrestleMania 12 and I got a bit of a chip on my shoulder that I lost and I, you know, the way the whole thing was set up was perfect for me to come back with a bit of an attitude about Sean. And um, what I had wanted to do was uh, work a storyline with Sean where I wrestled him at WrestleMania. We would have had a, a really good match. Sean was a great wrestler, one of the best I ever worked with, and uh, maybe, probably maybe the best I ever worked with in a lot of ways. And, uh, you know, I, I had an idea where I was going to, you know, like maybe if you can visualize, like, you know, it's like 30, 35 minute match. Me and Sean have, you know, tore the house down with a really great match, and uh, the place is going crazy. Like, it's basically, a duplicate of the Iron Man match, I started all over again, but we, would, we wouldn't we would go the full hour again. But uh, I wanted to do a thing where Sean was stomping his foot, getting ready to give me that big kick, and I'm I'm in trouble. Like, I'm pulling myself up from the ropes from the other side of the ring, and Sean goes to give me that big kick as I sort of stagger over to him, just like at the Iron Man match. And, uh, except for this time, I would take Sean's foot and catch it in the air and bring him to the ground and uh, put some kind of a shoot hold on his foot and break his foot right in the middle of the ring. And then I wanted to get, I wanted Sean to tap out, like tap out like, he, like they do in UFC where it's like, you know, when you break somebody's arm, they tap out pretty fast and it's, everyone jumps in and it's a very serious kind of thing. And uh, I wanted to break Sean's foot and then, uh, They'd hand me the belt and all that, and I would walk over and stand over top of him and go, fuck you. 